So today I'm going to be talking to you about the pros and the cons of living in the Charlotte Lake Norman area of North Carolina. So stick around. first about the cons, right? I like to get the bad stuff out of the way before we get too far in. So the first of which I've talked about it before is the infrastructure. The roadways are terrible. They're jam packed. There's not enough routes to get around town. You're either sitting in traffic on I-77, which can be absolutely just irritating as all get out. You come around the corner and there is the traffic buildup but you have nowhere to go because the lake is right on the west side of the freeway. There are literally no roads that go over the lake and until we have hover cars available, it is not gonna work for you. The city roads are just as bad, lots of back roads, tons of traffic lights because there's so much traffic, they keep adding more and more lights. So as you're just driving around town, you're constantly getting stopped by these lights. It's very irritating, but I think that the town planning is trying to catch up. They just quite haven't quite gotten there yet. So the next of those kind of goes into that is with all of this growth and craziness that's going on, the landscape of our area is changing rapidly. So what do I mean by that? Well, if you buy like a half acre property and you've got all these trees and woods around you and a farm behind you, it's beautiful, right? Peaceful and quiet. But because of all of that growth coming in, you might end up with a Dollar General next to you, a Walmart in where the farm was behind you, and a huge housing development or apartment complex right next door. So that's kind of an issue that I've got with, you never know what you're getting. You might move down here and have a home on a great beautiful piece of acreage and all of a sudden, bam, you're surrounded in a city. So that's very frustrating. We don't know what this landscape is gonna look like 10 and 20 years from now. It's gonna be a totally different thing. So you have to be careful and really reach out to your favorite real estate agent. This one. To help you plan where to live. We're gonna do our very best to check future zoning plans and make sure that you're in the right spot, right? So my next thing is with this growth and the landscape change, we also get school district changes. So you might put your kids in middle school but as the city grows, they're gonna build what? More schools. And then they're gonna split those kids up and put them in different schools. So your kids might go to middle school in one school, but then as that landscape grows, they may end up going to a different high school. So it's a really like balancing act, right? And we do our best to help you plan for the future and how long you're gonna be living in that house. What does that need to look like so that you're ready to go? But what about the good stuff? Because there is a lot of good stuff about Charlotte. Now, I'm a big foodie. Jeff and I, we love to eat at all the cool restaurants. We like to check out all the really neat spots. So, that being said, Steak 48 is one of the top 100 restaurants in the entire country, and it's right here in Charlotte. Yeah. So along with all of the other cool places, we've got Brazilian steakhouses, Latin food, Cuban food, you know, everything you can ever imagine kind of food we have here. We've got a really great restaurant scene, bar scene, cool craft cocktails, smoked drinks, the whole nine yards, right? You can really get a great atmosphere. One of my favorite things, we will never ever run out of places to go and eat. So with that being said, what about outdoor life? Jeff and I like to be outside walking, riding bikes, hanging out with friends. We have great parks and we get four seasons. Yes, all four of them are represented here in the Carolinas. So while it might be hot in summer, we have a great fall, we have a beautiful spring and the winter time is really super mild. So like this year we haven't had any snow at all and we've barely hit freezing for like two days. It's been great. Now it's been more mild than normal. Sometimes we'll get ice, nah. I heard there was ice in Dallas, Texas yesterday and today it, it's raining here in, in North Carolina so it's not even that bad. Yeah, it's great. So what about work? 
Wait, you have all this great lifestyle, all this good stuff to do, you've got to pay for it. So job potential has been on the rise here in Charlotte and it is, the companies that are here, we've got great banks, Bank of America, Wells Fargo is here, NASCAR is here, all of the teams that go with NASCAR and the job growth has been excellent over the last couple of years. I'm gonna do another short video this week to kind of go in detail about the percentages of the job growth and what that looks like but there are a ton of opportunities here. We've got fantastic medical industries, we've got retail, we've got restaurants, we've got breweries, you name it, you can find work somewhere. So, hope this helped you out with making your decision on whether or not you're gonna to move to the Lake Norman Charlotte area. If you do, don't forget to give Jeff and I a call. We want to be your tour guides. We will take you to some of the greatest places you can go to, and we wanna learn about your lifestyle so we can help you find the right house. Give us a call, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll talk to you all soon.